Hello, this short video just explains how to access the MODIS data products on uh, normalized difference snow index. So, if you do a quick search for, um, uh, what did I search for? Uh, snow map. Uh, you should find this uh, link here, which contains information on the MODIS data products, MOD 10A1 and MYD 10A1 snow products. So MODIS uh, it contains tiles of daily snow cover, 500 meter spatial resolution, um, and it's using um, NDSI um, tools. And there are different papers you can read on this. I would recommend starting at um, uh, this one, for example, Solomon Appel, snow cover using uh, normalized difference um, snow index. Um, so here is the web page on the um, data, and then and then you can say, right, let's order the data. And if you go to the um, national the uh, national snow and ice data center, uh, there are links on how to access that data. That link is broken, but if we then just search for the um, mod 10, uh, 1A was it? Let me just check that was right. Mod 10A1. Got it the wrong way around. Um, mod 10A1. Here we go. National Sonos Data Center. Modus, snow, daily cover, yes, yes, yes. Uh, you can get data direct from FTP, but I recommend going on the package options and going to the NASA search uh, ordering tool. You can then search, this is very much like Earth Explorer, you then choose your uh, area, you then set the date that you're looking for, um, and that'll do. And then you select the uh, data sets. It's already got in here the um, snow cover, which is the one we're looking for. Waiting for input. Step three, discover granules. Uh, global, 500 meter snow cover. Search for granules. And there we go. It's having a look. Look, look, look. And then it's got um, a whole load, actually 48 for that period that I put in start time and you can say right well, let's have a look at the image and this is a typical already classified uh, NDSI output you can see actually this is no good because there's a lot of cloud or high horizon it's no surprise um, but uh, as we get into the summer maybe there is better information here so you can see where there isn't cloud it's obviously identified areas which are snow and this is an automated routine and um, so if you mask out um, cloud and um, identify images which uh, have a little cloud cover over your area then you can actually use the NDSI to have a look at um, snow extent for your chosen areas so I hope you find this video useful get back to me if you have any questions thank you